Now, when it comes to trending topics and mysteries like this, I know there is bound to be new information as time goes by. So forgive me if by the time you are watching this video, some new statement is either given by the US Department of Agriculture or some new information is found by the investigation at hand. Because if you've been around on Twitter lately or you've just been on any platform or social media at all, you've likely definitely seen this mystery and what has started as maybe a couple of posts has quickly turned into a lot more traction with this phenomenon reaching around 22 states in the USA as well as some reported in Canada and the UK. This actually prompted the United States Department of Agriculture as well as major outlets and smaller news outlets to chime in with this discussion. So I want to get you guys all caught up to speed with the situation and give my take on it. As a general introduction to this topic, I'll let this CBS clip explain as it's been making the rounds. People across the country are getting unsolicited packages. Listen to this containing seeds apparently from China. The USDA has now put out a warning saying not to open these packages or even plant the seeds. Authorities say anyone who receives one of these packages should avoid touching the contents, carefully put it in a plastic bag and call the State Department of Agriculture. Officials say the seeds could be an invasive species, species which can be detrimental to native plants, insects and crops causing great damage to the local environment. Just to provide a bit more context here, this phenomenon seems to be targeting the vast majority of the United States. So far, there have been 22 states that these have been found in, and other countries are now investigating the subject matter as well. These packages come in your typical poly slash bubble mailer that you would get from the China Post, correctly addressed to their recipients, but these people never made these orders, and the contents of these packages are a bunch of mysterious seeds. Generally speaking, there isn't usually any label or any other extra packaging. Nothing else is included. And something you need to know about sending packages through international mail like this is that it has to go through customs and the labeled contents of these packages is never true. For example, this picture here states that the custom label is a bracelet, but it was obviously seeds. This mystery has gained the nickname of Chinese Mystery Seeds, and they've raised some concern, prompting 50 states to give a warning about planting them in the ground. Something you need to know about any confined system of plants or agriculture is that there are regulations in place as to not invade local species or cause any problems to the local ecosystem. Part of the USDA's warning on planting these seeds is having you report them to a hotline as well as to prevent this kind of agricultural smuggling in case someone is trying to mess with local agriculture in the United States or wherever these seeds are being sent. Given the fact that the main export from China as of lately has been a deadly virus, people aren't exactly happy to be getting these gifts in the mail. Now, this hasn't stopped the internet and some people from trying to plant these seeds. And of course, curiosity is definitely in the interest of many as to what the purpose of these things are. And while there is still an active investigation going on, I also want to give you the statement from the USDA as they have commented on what type of seeds they are, but haven't gone into much more detail. We have identified uh, 14 different species of seeds, including mustard, cabbage, morning glory, and some of the herbs like mint, uh, sage, rosemary, um, lavender, and then other seeds like hibiscus and roses. This is just um, a subset of the samples we collected so far. Now, while it is interesting to see if anything comes of this investigation, there is one other dominant theory that seems to be going on besides the idea of someone wanting to tamper with local agriculture. And to tell you the truth, I lean a bit more towards this theory. Because something you should know about this concept of receiving unordered packages in the mail is that it's far more common than you would imagine, and receiving unordered packages from China generally points to a small type of fraud that has been going on for years. While there are quite a few platforms for buying things from China, like AliExpress or Joom, I would say that the most popular platform is everybody's favorite clickbait shopping app, Wish. And there are a lot of ruthless tactics that a lot of people don't know about that these sellers actually go through to try and gain an advantage over each other. And just like in China, how they will literally make fake anything, it probably wouldn't be out of the question to think that they would want to fake their reviews and seller feedback. This is also called brushing. 
just for demonstration as to why this would be beneficial. If I go on to Wish and type Hoodie, you'll notice that the first filter here is the feedback rating, and also as a general rule of thumb, with social proof, whenever there are more orders on an item, you're more likely to buy that item over another one as it appears tried and tested. To top that off, you'll also notice that whenever you look at any listing on any Chinese website for ordering items, you'll notice that it's basically a word salad of keywords that they could stuff in there. It's a very ruthless platform for selling as they're all trying to compete to push the same products over each other. This also happens a lot on Amazon as Amazon as a platform dictates what you see based on keywords, based on the average customer review. Now, the general idea of what is going on is that these sellers are faking their feedback and order count to rank higher over each other, and the reason they would send fake packages is that they would need a valid delivery confirmation number in order for the selling platform to recognize that the sale that they made was valid and the feedback was also valid. I mean, just some small food for thought here. Have you ever noticed how great the feedback is on Wish, despite how terrible their products actually are? If there's something you would know about shopping on Wish is that the sellers do not care about appeasing the customer. It's all about offering a affordable price and they'd rather just fake the reviews than actually have you question the quality of the product. That's just sort of how things go. I believe that some shady vendor would buy a list of scraped mailing addresses with your name on it whether you're a previous shopper or some other dark web means of getting your address and information, as you've likely had something shipped to your address before, and then they would buy items for themselves shipped to your address on a fake account on Wish. Because they are buying from themselves, they would receive the money, and after the item would finally get delivered, they would leave a positive feedback on this fake account with your mailing address as a way of padding their stat. Now, the only thing here is that they would actually have to get the items to go through customs and make sure the weight would match. And that might be why we're seeing so many instances of seeds as they could be measured out to fit any weight. However, I don't know why they would still resort to using seeds. Ultimately, it doesn't fully explain why they use seeds to measure out the weight as there are a lot of other objects that they could have used as well. However, I still think this is the best explanation as to what is going on. And I'd like to ask you guys what you think I think it'll be interesting to see if anything happens with this investigation and whether or not this type of brushing scam will be cracked down on a little bit more. If so, that might actually improve the shopping experience over at Wish. But I guess you could say that is wishful thinking, and this is Barely Sociable. Have a good night.